Wow. Can somebody please explain what am I doing? This isn't even my truck. What's up machine freaks and welcome to today's vlog. Today is going to be a very, very rusty, crusty, dirty, and messy day. Why do I say that? I got a Ram charger in my driveway. Nuts and bolts everywhere, parts everywhere, a 200 pound bumper on the ground. Are you getting it? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm understanding it. Let me try to bring you up to speed. So I was conceived. I guess we can move on a little further from that. This is Danny's new Ram Charger. It's a 1988, it has a bad head gasket, and it's got 186,000 miles on it. Danny also has a second charger that has 70,000 less miles with a good head gasket. Saying that, instead of replacing the one with 186,000 miles, they figured they would put a better engine in this truck for about the same cost. So Danny and Danny's grandfather were going to take it to a mechanic, but then I offered as a family friend, well actually I guess family, said, hey Danny, I can help you out. So now here I am working on this thing. This is a 1988. His other truck's in 1991. Three years difference, same engine, same transmission. Both V8s, and they both have three-speed automatic transmissions. I started at 10.30 in the morning. It is currently 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're definitely making progress. And when I say we, I mean me. I've actually got to the point where I need a second pair of hands. Big or small, I could use them all. Bigger, the better, though. Or somebody who can hang onto a hood. Removing the hood is actually going to make it a lot easier when we go to take the cherry picker and take that engine right out. And it's going to help by seeing the back of the engine and seeing what's back there and what needs to be disconnected and what can be kept and, and things like that. So I find it very appropriate to remove the hood. Saying that, I'm trying to find as many things as I can to do before Ian or Danny shows up. Maybe Ian's dad will even show up. I don't know. I'll take the helping hand though. Don't get me wrong. If I had to do this and my life depended on it, I could make it happen. It's just sharing is caring. Or something like that. Because it should only take like one or two more man hours before this thing's out. I'm extremely happy to say that. I honestly thought this was going to take me two days. Look at all you only gonna take me one. Hopefully this thing's tall enough. This truck sits up extremely high. Ian ended up showing up, and I guess Max showed up too. Max, what are you working on? A bike. Why? What's wrong with your bike? But the chain was stuck right in there. You figured it out? Yep. Okay, cool. Did Jake the Toilet Snake teach you that? Nope. <laughs> Ian's working on a custom, custom made uh, intake to hoist this engine out. So what are we looking for? Half, Half inch? Robot. See if there's one in there. He's cut a piece of plate so far and drilled four holes. And then we gotta go visit Jake the Toilet Snake. We gotta go visit your brother. Get some grade eight bolts so we can take that plate, bolt it onto there. I'll end up, I'll end up welding a hook to it. And then we'll hoist this engine out. It's always easier said than done though. She'll go. You're gonna have to use a wrench though. Oh, smoke is that loud. So, Ian, this was an American made intake hoist. I like that. Made by Ian and Dalton. They might have an issue, but. What the heck? What's the issue? I don't know. Nothing yet. That it's too hot? Yeah, that's it's the issue. Too that's it's too hot to handle? Sure. I'm not putting it on a paper towel, but. <laughs> so, we're gonna have a fire here, is that what you're saying? You know, every time you put this sucker on here, you're putting it in a different <laughs> little <laughs> angle here. Yeah. Every time we're going to be re-drilling new holes because you want to put it in a different spot. <laughs> yeah. The big board out hole goes right there. This is the big board out hole. That one is? Yep. Well, it doesn't. Keep going. It doesn't go that way. Like this. Oh, duh. Uh, 
Put your bolts in. So I lied to you, we didn't see Jake the Toilet Snake. We went somewhere else because uh, I don't think Jake the Toilet Snake has changed. So we just wanted to hit two birds with one stone and just go to one location. We got grade eight, nothing but the best, with five grade washers. <laughs> you can skimp out on the washers. You gonna get the impact thing? Oh, so we're just gonna strip them right out? I mean, we got this far, we may as well strip them out, right Ian? Yeah, that's the plan. Hook her up. Ian, you better watch this. I'm gonna watch it. Danny would be pretty ticked off if we screwed this up. So we gotta do this right the first time. Okay. <laughs> I still gotta edit today's video. Ian, we're doing it. Let's get in the shower real quick. Oh, I gotta get in the shower. Get, okay. get in the shower real quick. Like we're, we're, in the shower we're doing quick. it real quick. Here. Oh, okay. Just give me a nice little, little there you go. Explosive. First engine I've ever pulled in my driveway ever. Danny, you should feel privileged. Holy cow, we got two cameras going now? You got to, man. Come this on. is this is history. You want to go off a little bit more, huh? I'm going to quit. What? This guy <laughs> could start a sandbox over here. Oh. You're off that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> No, kiss it out. That's coming out even faster. Okay. We got it out. It's been a long day. Very, very long day. Wow. I'm extremely sorry, you guys. I started at 10.30 in the morning. It is now 7.49. It is now 7.49 at night. Um, I, I put in a very long day and I'm, I'm extremely tired and I'm sorry I didn't make a video today. Next engine I pull out, I, I promise, I'll try to do two parts instead of just one because whew, I am freaking tired, I'm hungry, I hate excuses, but that is the fact. I have nobody I have nobody to blame but myself. Please hit the like button, I'll get you a video tomorrow. Sorry. 3D Machines out.